How many times in life have things worked better when you had a plan? What I'm talking about is many of us attend networking events and we give out business cards and we get business cards. We listen to the speaker, whoever it is for that day, and then that's it. And we wonder, you know, why didn't I get any business at all? So I have a suggestion. The next time that you're at a networking event, think differently, come up with a plan, and here's, here's what you do. Your plan is not at all to sell anybody anything. Your plan is to pick two to maybe three people at that event that you're going to set up a one-to-one. -one. I'll give you a for instance. You meet a gentleman at the next networking event. His name is John and he has John the Plumber as his business. Well, if you get a business card from him, most of the time it's gonna end up on your desk with all the other stack of business cards. You're not gonna refer anybody to John and there's no connection. But what if, what if you said, hey John, you know, I would like to know more about your business because realistically for me to be able to refer more people to you, I have to know more about your business. So why don't we set up a time this week and we'll grab a cup of coffee and you can tell me a little bit more about your business. You have to set up for this week though because people will forget or you'll forget and it'll never get done. So set up a time and a date and meet with John. And when you meet with John, authentically listen to him, see what he has to offer because there may be people that you know who needs his product or service and you're gonna be hopefully able to refer more people once you get to know him. Because the worst thing to do is refer somebody to a plumber that you met at a networking event and you know nothing about, and the plumber isn't a good plumber, and now you've just ruined your reputation because you referred somebody that was subpar. And during that meeting, try to find out more and more about John. And then the natural course of events is John will say, you know, I've been talking a lot about me. Tell me a little bit about you. And that's a perfect thing because now you're not selling, you're answering questions, you're telling John a little bit about what will make it better for people that he may be able to refer. And when you start building that relationship, both of you, you'll go up a little bit in your reputation with one another. And when the time comes for you to have somebody that you run into who needs a plumber, now you'll honestly know a good plumber for them to refer to. And won't John love it that when somebody called, they said, oh, I was referred from Bill. He goes, oh, I met with Bill and now he's referring people, isn't that good? reciprocation happens, and now the next time somebody has a need for your service, John is naturally going to refer people to you. It's the way it works. It's building relationships, it's building long-term relationships, it's getting a lot more business through referrals than trying to sell stuff at discounts or just blindly handing out cards at an event, which is sort of like a drive-by or spamming people, it's building relationships. And that's how you're gonna build your business in a much better way. So the next time that you're in an event, have a plan. Your plan is to meet up to three people, definite specific days and times to meet with them to help get to know more about their business. This is Bill from Bill Atkins Marketing. Have a plan.